medyo yung restrictions na is medyo nagre-relax na, being eased out na rin. Um, what are your plans for 2022? Like, um, or your Christmas wish na darating na Pasko? Aside from world peace. <laughs> Ako, siyempre, gusto ko lang naman bumalik sa normal yung buhay ng mga Pilipino. Uh, for two years, we've been uh, having a very hard time. Uh, ako, gusto ko lang bumalik yung uh, normal na buhay. But hopefully, uh, we learn from this to be more, you know, to be more careful, to be more loving of our fellow Filipinos and in the country, of course. Kasi tayo-tayo rin naman yung makakapag- pa-safe sa atin eh, ika nga, di ba? Yes. Mm-hmm. Same answer po. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same answer po. <laughs> Ako din, I really feel na everything happened for a reason again and, mm-hmm. you know, every time that there is a chance for us to make a decision for ourselves and mm-hmm. for, you know, our country, parang uh, I think now Filipinos are ready for a good decision and mm-hmm. alam na nila ang gusto nila because I feel like, you know, with everything na nangyari sa atin with the pandemic, I think we deserve more than just being comfortable. Mm-hmm. Richard? Yeah, ako naman, uh, well, of course, I'm looking forward to being able to travel again no, in 2022, mm-hmm. but uh, I think the most important thing right now is that the bumalik ulit ang ekonomiya natin because uh, there are so many people who lost their jobs and there are so many business, businesses that are closing. Mm-hmm. Uh, kawawa talaga ang lahat ng uh, tao na, you know, who, who've had to endure this uh, pandemic, not only yung sa mga nagkasakit, ang problema doon, nag, nag, nagkasakit ka pagkatas wala ka pang trabaho, so ang hirap ng buhay. So uh, hopefully, maibalik na yung ekonomiya natin para we can, mm-hmm. you know, we can, mo ma ano na rin yung uh, panghanap buhay ng mga tao. Go Richard ya. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Goto. <laughs> okay. Um, that's all. Thank you so much and congratulations sa uh, your new show. Salamat. Thank you. Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Sir Robert, our next set of questions will be coming from Gorgi Rula of Pep. Wow. Hello. Good afternoon. Fresh. Fresh. Hi, Miss Marty. Hello, dear. Ito muna. Simulan ko muna kay Michelle. Um, Michelle, um, ang dami, sunod-sunod na rin yung mga nabigay sa yung projects ng GMA7. Parang napaka-challenging din sa'yo. Ito ba? Ibang challenge ito ngayon yung binigay sa'yo sa I Left My Heart in Sorsogon. The last time I saw you sa Agimat ng Aguila na parang bukod sa may mga prosthetics talagang iba rin ang uh, acting na ibinigay mo doon. Ito ba ibang challenge sa sa'yo? At uh, well, briefly, kwento mo na rin kung ano talaga yung uh, participation mo dito sa soap na to. Um, yes, it is definitely a, a different challenge kasi the character sketch of both of those characters are parang different worlds talaga. Um, but ako kasi, I love challenges and I love acting. So as long as I take my craft seriously, I feel na kahit anong ibigay pa sa akin ng GMA, kaya kong i-tackle. But uh, this, this role is so different kasi it's really tapping into my, I guess, my humanity. Kasi walang extreme contrabida dito sa show. Eh. We're just tapping on basic human uh, emotions and uh, I think it's 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 something it's the challenging part for me was really being able to show that type of vulnerability on screen um I was I believe I'm capable of doing it naman uh, but of course since this is the first project na grabbing exposure sa ganong side of acting ko, I really wanted to do my part and execute properly. Siyempre, mga kasabay ko is sila uh, sobrang daming superstars here. So I really wanted to do my part and contribute to the show, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for GMA for giving me this opportunity and for letting me explore my craft in different ways. And uh, especially coming from pageantry, um, it's an laki ng pinawid ko from, from that. And I guess the pandemic helped me 
kind of transition more smoothly into it na hindi siya biglang salang. Kaya ayun. So we can say, Michelle, na parang tapos ka na dun sa pageantry. Focus ka na talaga. I mean, isa ka ng actress ngayon. Doon ka na talaga sa acting nakafocus. Uh, you know, anything can happen in in the next few years. Kasi pasok mm. naman yung age ko sa, let's say, if I do choose to... Uh, the Miss Universe. Uh, ah, hindi pa rin. Let's say. Okay. <laughs> But, but acting definitely is something that I see myself doing for the long run. Shempre, if different opportunities come in different facets of my life, parang you don't wanna turn those down. Just tanggap lang ng tanggap and allow those experiences to make you grow. Okay, so good luck. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Acting <laughs> yes. Okay, Mavi, at saka kay uh, Kailin muna. Um, wala pa, hindi pa naman nag-start ang I Left My Heart in Source of One, pero uh, nakikita yun na ba sa mga fans, lalo na rin sa mga fans mo, Kailin, na uh, tang okay sa kanila yung tandem na yung dalawa. Kasi ba love team na? Parang ganun? <laughs> um, <laughs> with, with my fans naman po, Actually, kahit sino naman po yung makaparehas ko, okay sa kanila. Most definitely si Mavi kasi wala naman siyang history na pananakit sa akin emotionally. And he's been my um, really good friend ever since nagpumasok sila ng GMA. So, um, yeah. Warm naman po yung mga sunflowers ko. Oo. Oo. So, walang pananakit, ha? So, parang may pinagdaanan talaga sa mga nakaraan, gano'n. Ah, sa siya ko lang. Kay Mavi. Of course, kay Mavi, di ba? Oo. Okay. Mavi, may reaction ka doon? Natingin mo tanggap sa mga sunflowers. Yes, actually, palagi ako tinatag actually sa mga posts sa Instagram. So, I'm very happy na they're very welcome and most especially yung fan base yung mga sunflowers ni Kay. Um, napakasaya syempre ever since na nag-start ako sa seri na ito. Um, syempre you have to look forward na ma-welcome ka din sa fan base ng ka-partner mo sa show. So they're very welcoming at very happy naman sila sa, sa mga nakikita nila sa um, mga social media. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy and very excited for everyone to watch us both. Mavi, kumusta yung mga first uh, days mo sa, nung first lock-in nyo sa, sa Sorsogon? Kasi yung mom mo, di ba parang akala mo mag-a-abroad ka na para magkatrabaho mm -hmm. sa, para magkatrabaho sa ibang bansa, <laughs> kung maka, <laughs> ba? Right. Mo, first time na naiwalay ka. Mm -hmm. um, kumusta yung mga first days mo doon sa Sorsogon? Kamusta yung masaya, masaya siya because uh, hindi ako masyadong nagtatrabal. I don't have the chance to travel around the Philippines per se. So, yung unang experience ko sa source ko, malayo ka agad sa Manila yung traveling time pa lang. And uh, sinabi ko lang sa parents ko, and most especially my mom, dahil siya yung umiyak na uh, ilet go muna ako for the good month, for the duration of the first month. Kasi um, I want to focus on myself, yung sa craft ko. Kasi first, first and foremost, first seryo ko to, first lock-in ko to. So, I wanted to focus on myself. But with that, I enjoy it because um, I left my family in Manila but I also built uh, a family also and was, I'm so glad to be part of a family that I left my heart in Sorsagon team. So, I'm very happy. Okay. Kailin, uh, as a Bicolana, for how many weeks na nakatrabaho mo si Hart? Ramdam mo na yung pagiging Bicolana na rin niya? Kayo ba? May pa kayo bilang isa, bilang mga Bicolana? <laughs> well, totoo naman po yung sinabi ni Ate Hart na naging tourist guide niya uh, siya namin. So, ramdam na ramdam ko na talaga yung pagiging Bicolana niya. Of course, with her attitude. And doon na rin yung pagka-oragon niya. <laughs> so yun yung masayang part doon na parang, oh at last new member of Bicolanos <laughs> okay thank you thank you Kailin and Mavi thank you thank you maraming salamat thanks kay Hart uh, Miss Hart yes I miss you 
Oo nga eh. Oh. <laughs> Oy, thank you sa mga pa-shampoo sa mga doggies ko. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ano, um, kumusta yung support ni Senator Cheese? dito sa project na to. I-clear na rin din natin kasi nung una, nung napabalita yung I left my heart in Sorsogon, akala namin talaga co-prod ito sa Sorsogon. <laughs> co-prod ito sa LGU ng Sorsogon. Ano ba talaga? At uh, of course, siyempre, andyan yung support ng, ng LGU ng Sorsogon. Pero kamusta yung support naman, of course, ni Senator Cheese? Well, um, Ms. Malu can answer the Sorsogon part. Ako naman, yung support niya, sobrang supportive niya. Kasi, um, kahit bumabiyahe ko sa past, ito talaga yung talagang na-lock in ako ng matagal. So, nanibago siya sa totoo lang. Um, nanibago siya minsan, parang sabi niya, nasa sad daw siya. Parang talagang ramdam niya yung pagkawala ko sa buhay niya. Um, but yet, uh, he's keeping himself busy. And um, I'm just happy na napaka-supportive niya, especially nung nag- nasa Sorsogon kami. Talagang hands-on kasi si Chis sa lahat ng bagay. Alam ni Ms. Malu yan. Talagang lahat ng logistics, lahat uh, anong oras dadating yung ganito. So, nakakataba ng puso na, again, when you marry someone, you don't just marry someone because in love ko yung isa't isa. Pero kailangan makapangasawa ka din ng taong kaibigan mo talaga at hindi nandiyan para sa in different aspects. So napakita kan napakita na yung side na yun sa kanya. And for Source Gone, of course, he was all support. Um because syempre, you know, when naging governor siya, talagang pinaghandaan niya yung pag reopen ng mundo ng mga turista pumunta ng Sorsogon ko ano na ngayon ng Sorsogon um ang dami nilang inayos from the roads to the gymnasium to the dep ed to the capitol which is now open for everyone so pag nag airing soap na to especially medyo nag lighten na yung restrictions handa na sila to magat ng mga bisita galing sa ibang lugar um pero ano siya in- of course, obviously, hindi naman talaga ito co-prod sa Sorsogon. Pero nandun yung support, of course, ng tourism uh, office sa Sorsogon. Di ba? Malu? Um, hi, Gorgi. Um, actually, ang nice about this project, um, when we inform the Sorsoganans about this, um, the private sector pulled up their funds to support this. For example, um, the hotels, the resorts, um, libre yon. Wala kami ginastos because yung mga owners, the private sector, they they feel na this will be a a help then sa business nila. So lahat ng tao in Sorsogon talaga supported this project. So parang nagsama-sama talaga lahat. Oo. Oo nga, oo. First time talaga mag- so, hindi, hindi siya talaga LGU funded, but the private sector here in Sorsogon. Kasi magbe-benefit din kasi sila eh. Yeah. Once mag-open yung tourism namin. Okay, sige. Thank you. 